Hi guys and welcome back from Carly at the Herbothecary. Uh, really good to see you guys again. If you're new to the channel or like the videos, please show your support by hitting like and subscribe down below. Let us know that you've enjoyed it, uh, found something useful and you'll get notifications whenever we do any new videos. Hi guys and welcome back. Uh, today's video is a little bit different. It's November 2021 and it's cold season and no better time to quit smoking really. So um, I've never done well with patches or I don't like vaping. So I thought I would try a tobacco alternative. Now I've known of mugwort for many many years but more for its magical qualities. I have also had it in Asian soups and in rice balls and I've made a few myself and very tasty but today I thought I'd try using it as the tobacco alternative firstly and secondly I believe it has some um, dream qualities to help with lucid dreaming so um, I dream quite lucidly already but I'd like to see if it has an effect and changes my dreams at all so I will be drinking it every day for four weeks and seeing what effect that it has and then I will stop drinking it for a further four weeks and get an idea if my dreams go back to normal or if they did actually change at all. Um, we will not be discussing any of the um, other medicinal qualities today. Uh, as with all, I do advise that you go do your own research, uh, research mugwort specifically more. Um, always start off small and if you have any side effects at all, then please stop it. Um, I'm not a doctor, I am a student of life and I thought I'd give this a go. So enjoy the journey, let's go see. First of all, what we have to do is go find some mugwort. Now, as I said, it is November, so I know of one, I just can't be sure what kind of state it's going to be in. So let's go. So on with the disclaimer. I'm not a doctor, I'm not an ethnobotanist, I own a few good guidebooks and I've been doing this for a while. So always do your own thorough research, be 100% sure, so check with a book, check with the internet and check with a foraging group. Don't eat anything unless you're 100% sure. Make sure you've got the landowner's permission before you do. Avoid areas where they might be polluted or animals might have sprayed. Never pick endangered species and only ever take as much as you need. So here we are at the trusty mugwort bush. It does grow at the back of my friend's property. So I've got permission to pick this one. As you can see, it is very close to dying back for winter, but there are still some nice leaves with their flame effect, green on the top and silvery on the bottom. So we'll harvest some of them and bring them home to dry. I did harvest some a few weeks ago and these have been hung up drying in a cool room with ventilation so they were dry and ready for this experiment. So first of all we're going to try rolling with them. Although the leaves were quite dry and crispy at this point they didn't crumble very well so I did take the scissors to them and cut them up fine and removed some of the flowers, not all of them, as I believe this isn't really necessary. Now, I am awful at rolling, so I did manage to get these fillable tubes. They only come in king size though, so we're gonna give them a go. They come with this cool little funnel and a pokey stick to pack them down, so hopefully this process will be easier than my awful attempt at rolling. So let's try this one. 
The first thing I noticed with this one is the smell. It was very, very strong. I wasn't a fan. I do normally like smudge sticks, but this was a bit much for me. It also didn't burn very well and kept going out, so had to be relit. And I did notice a bit of a head rush with it. So I decided rather than give up, I'll try mix it with some tobacco and see if that improves the taste, the smell and the burning. So I separated out a couple of spoonfuls for my tea in a minute and used about 50-50 tobacco and the mugwort and tried the tube stuffing again and we'll try that one and see if it improves. This burns slightly better but did not improve the taste or the smell or the cough afterwards at all. So instead I decided to go and make up my mugwort tea. So I added the two tablespoons of the dried mugwort, a small handful of lemon zest for flavour. My kettle has boiled but I've allowed it to cool slightly as I don't want it boiling to uh, burn off all the active properties. So I'll fill that up and allow it to steep for around 10 minutes. In my cup I'm going to be using some of this acacia honey as my sweetener. And then it's just time to pour and enjoy my tea. Now I did sweeten the deal by having a nice candle bath to help me sleep better. And then off to bed. Sweet dreamings. So it's morning number one after having mugwood tea. Um, I didn't really get much sleep last night, but I think that was mostly because of the cold. Um, I did seem more aware that I was dreaming and had a small amount of control over it. I found that as soon as I knew I was dreaming, this woke me up. So back to sleep I went, but I did find that I was able to go right back into that dream which is new. So we'll keep going for the rest of the week and I'll see you guys after another six nights of trying my water tea. See you then. So it's um, morning number seven, technically day eight after starting. Um, dreams are definitely different. Um, I used to have one venue in my dreams and it would just adapt to whatever the dream was about. So if it needed an airport, it would have an airport. If it needed a restaurant, it would have a restaurant. Uh, haven't been back to that venue since. Um, I do have a lot more control over my dreams. Once I realize I'm dreaming, I can then decide where I want to go in the dream because uh, I remember the place and I know it has this cool bar around the corner, so let's go there. Um, so, yes, a lot more control over my dreams. I do find that I'm waking up a lot more during the night. and uh, That's usually when I realize I'm dreaming. Um, so far as the smoking thing, I have not continued that, as you'll see in the little clip about trying to use it as a tobacco alternative. It didn't really burn very well and I didn't like the taste or the smell. And it tickled my cough quite a bit more. So we'll have to try something else for that. But I'm gonna continue drinking the tea for another three weeks and I'll see you back in three weeks time. Bye. It's uh, the 28th morning after starting the Magul tea um, and it's still pretty much the same as after week one. Uh, dreams are still kind of boring but that's probably my fault because I'm controlling where they're going now. Um, still waking up lots and still able to control what I'm doing in the dream. Um, possibly my favorite part is being able to go back into those dreams. 
so I'm going to stop drinking it for a couple weeks and see what effect that has. I'll see you guys back in two weeks. So, it's been two weeks since I stopped drinking the mugwort tea. Um, and I haven't gone back to the way I used to dream. It's continued this way. Um, so I have tried um, dandelion root tea before and I believe that's also a dream root. So what I might try to do now is combine the two and see what effect that has. And we'll do that in the next video. Um, what I did find is after drinking the tea for four weeks, the smell and the taste of smoking it was no longer so offensive to me so i um substitute that around 30 35 percent with the tobacco and that's been going okay what i have found however is i've cut down my smoking perhaps because of the smell and the taste or perhaps just because of the wonderful mugwort itself so um i hope you guys found something interesting in this it was just my little experiment to see how it affected me and whether or not it could help me at least cut down smoking which it did so yay mugwort again please go and do all your own thorough research before trying anything like this make sure you have identified mugwort correctly and then have fun please feel free to comment message down below to let us know if you have tried it and the experiences you've had um yeah and hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see any more it does really help us out it at least lets us know that you're enjoying the content of the videos and encourage us to make more all right see you guys soon good night